So it's all about my life hack. I love talking about this. It's one of my favorite things. Now, some of you may not know this, and I'm sure everybody will eventually, but I'm actually also a flight attendant besides someone that shows you how to save money. So one of the ways that you can save a ton of money, whether you're traveling or whether you're going on a long trip, is pack your own food. Don't be dependent on the trip, assuming that there's gonna be food there that you wanna eat and that it's gonna be there for you. So I'm gonna show you the secrets of how flight attendants pack their meals. This is four days worth of food that I've taken. So let me show you how it works. So first I've invested in an e-bag right here. I picked it up on Amazon for about 35 to $49. Sometimes there's coupons from e-bags, you can save 15%. Keeping your food cool, very important. So let's zoom in, let's come on in here. So this is one of the things I do. So a lot of people use cooler packs. Instead, what I use is just basically small trash bags and it's double bag and I use ice from my refrigerator. And by the way, I packed this at five o'clock this morning. It is now 2 p.m. So you wanna put your ice pack on the bottom of your lunch box, just like this, okay? And I do this for a reason because heat rises. So you wanna keep things cool from the bottom. Then I also, um, this is like food. So when it comes to packing your food, you have to be efficient. So, say for example, I'm a big snacker. You don't want to take a bag of chips because a bag of chips is huge, although it's light in weight, but it's huge and they have air, air in it, number one, to keep it fresh, and number two, so the chips don't get crunched. So instead, take the chips out of the bag and put it in a glad bag if you want, so it stays that way. I also am a big rice person, so I picked up this rice from Trader Joe's. It's frozen when I originally packed it. Now it's cool now. It's still not gonna go bad once it gets unfrozen. And when I get to my hotel, I'll have a refrigerator. So I also put this on the bottom of my bag. So again, I keep all the cool stuff on the bottom. Then I'm kind of a coffee snob and I like to have my own special plant-based creamer. So this is where it's not efficient, but I have to have it. So I take this and I pack it on the side. So I share it with the ice. So everything, so we've got one layer right here. This is layer number one. Now we're gonna do like the little things that we can shove in here. So this is my yogurt. I'll kind of shove this back here. And then also this, so these are my snacks. You can crunch this up, doesn't take a lot of space. Shove it around here. So everything is still surrounded around the ice. Now we're gonna go for, so I brought my own wings. Instead of putting it in a container, because it really doesn't need to be, I put it in a glad bag so I can crunch it up and again, kind of shove it in the side. Okay, now for my meals, oh yeah, I can't forget your grapes, so we'll shove that in there too. Now for my meals, as you can see, I try to use a lot of restaurant um, containers because number one, if I lose it, it's no big deal. And number two, like I love the Payway um, to-go containers. These are fantastic. You've got two bins, so I've got my salmon here, I've got my quinoa here, and this is where I pack my hot meals. But I try to be very mindful of not taking too many of these containers because it takes a lot of space up. So I put it right here on top of my ice also. So it's still in the ice, but it's not surrounding at all. And then here I've got some chicken, and I put that also on top of the frozen rice. And then this little guy, this is my um, stir fry, a little leftover from dinner. Super healthy, meal plan, save money. Okay, so this is my lunchbox. Believe it or not, all this food is gonna last me about three to four days. Now, probably gonna lose a pound or two because I don't eat a whole lot, but this will work. And then I also have snacks. So I have cereal packed away, plus I also on my top pack right here, I've got my snacks here, I've got some almonds, and then I take my silverware with me, I've got my sugars, I've got my condiments all packed in here too. And then I have my cereal, because in the morning when I leave, I like to grab cereal, and sometimes at the hotel they provide fruit, so that's what I'll eat for breakfast. So last but not least, how to keep this, this food cool is you got this great cooler, but also what you want to do is you want to stick a towel over here because this also keeps it all contained in here and it keeps it cool, compacts that cold air in. And like I said, as you notice, I packed this at 5 a.m. this morning, which was what, seven, eight hours ago, and ice, the ice is not even melted. So that's what I do right here. And this is the secrets revealed of a flight attendant. If you want more detailed information, I wrote a lovely article on my blog. Just head to smartshopperdaphne.com for all the details. And as always, let me zip this up so I can show this actually works. And as always, I appreciate your time. And don't forget, I'm Daphne Monroe, your smart shopper.